Hello and welcome to a new video about my studio light. Last time we managed to measure the brightness and react on the brightness. It worked pretty well. And then I just wanted to connect it to the Wi-Fi, to my network here. Yeah, because yeah, I've done this several times before. However, it did not turn out correct. Yeah, so this was the original T1. T1 uh, Mini with an ESP8266 and I could not connect to my Wi-Fi network. Uh, it's exactly the same code like we've used in previous projects. Uh, and so I thought, yeah, maybe, maybe it's the chip. So I then used this one. Uh, ESP8266 development board. Uh, this always worked. Now, not. I'm not sure why. Yeah. Then I switched to this chip here. Uh, this chip is an ESP32. ESP32 T1 Mini. And this is now working. It's exactly the same code, except some libraries and so on. I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe someone could enlighten me why this might have happened. Uh, but Okay, but actually what I've done yeah, is I added quite a lot of code. Yeah. You see, I, I even used software switches. Yeah. If it's defined ESP32, so we are on an ESP32 platform, we are using the Wi-Fi library. If we are not ESP32, so we must be on an ESP8266, we are using this and there are now also the IO pin numbers is divided and so on. Uh, so it is the same program and one time it's working, one time not. Luckily, like I said, I don't know why, but right now I, I'm working, I'm going further with my uh, ESP32 here. What else I had to change? There was something, of course, analog outputs are not working anymore like before. So. I again had this uh, setup. Yeah. This time I can only use 39 kilohertz yeah, with a resolution of 11 bit. Yeah, there is a restriction on the ESP32 that you have an 80 megahertz clock, so 80 millions. Yeah. And if you have one bit, so basically you can turn it off or on, have it always on or have it 50%, you can use 40 kilohertz, so half. If you have two bit resolution, you can use 20 kilohertz, so a quarter, and so on, and so on. And if you have, where is the calculator? Here is the calculator. If you have uh, a resolution of 11 bit, yeah. so it's 2 raised by the power of 11, yeah. it's 2048, 80 millions divided by 2048 uh, would mean 39.62 kilohertz. And this is what I'm actually using. This is the maximum I can get out. Uh, luckily, it's enough. Uh, if we have a look at, at this, uh, then if I'm covering, you see, this is also working, the, the, the brightness input and so on. So I managed to switch yeah. And we are also connecting to Wi-Fi. The connecting to Wi-Fi is exactly working as in previous videos. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm not going to explain this. Watch a previous video yeah, I, with the status bar and so on. I used it several times before. Uh, um, it was always a 40 minute video. I will not do this. Yeah. So current status is we are connecting to Wi-Fi. Okay. And what I've also prepared is this Wi-Fi server. Yeah? So we are using this Wi-Fi server. This is our web server. So I have included this line here, Wi-Fi. Oh, I've included this Wi-Fi server here. Yeah? And I've included the web server. Yeah? And Wi-Fi client is the client which is connecting to the web server. And today I want to make it work that we can at least display a web page. Okay, this would be our goal to display a web page. 
So actually what I'm also defining is I define a, a status if the server is already started. The server is connected to port 80. Port 80 is the usual port for HTTP requests. Yeah? If the server is started or not. Of course, it will not be started in the beginning because we are not connected to Wi-Fi. So I will reset this, this bit in the status byte for sure. Yeah? So we'll status byte clear start HTTP started. We, are not, we have not started. All right. And, uh, well, when do we start this HTTP server? Of course, when we are connected to the network and there is this, this uh, connect Wi-Fi and there is somewhere, next trial, blah, 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 connected. Here we are connected to, to the Wi-Fi network. Okay, so here I'm going to start the server. So I'm calling HTTP server uh, dot start begin, of course. This should, that's it. Yeah, this I need to do that I have started now the HTTP server. Okay, and I will set the bit set uh, and in the status, status byte. I will set the, the started. Okay. Right now we have not if we are started. And if we are disconnecting from our network, which will happen here somewhere, yeah. Bit clear, Wi-Fi disconnect. We will also, of course, uh, we have to bit clear also the of the status byte uh, start HTTP started and we have of course to say HTTP server dot end or how is it called end I think yeah end HTTP server end if we are disconnecting maybe it would be a good idea to do this before disconnecting from Wi-Fi that we are ending the server, that we do it gracefully. Uh, and also here, where is this? We want to be connected, everything is alright, okay. Uh, shall be connected, but is not. Here, we will also, we will also say, uh, HTTP server end, and if we are losing connection. Uh, if we are losing connection, we will end the HTTP server, so the web server, and say, okay, we're not, we are not connected anymore. Good. So this, this actually should be sufficient. Uh, now we should have an HTTP server up and running. Maybe we can, we can print this out somewhere. So, here. If verbose HTTP HTML is this kind, of course. Info verb communication zero print line web server started dot and down here I will print web server stop. Here, web server stopped due Wi-Fi connection loss. Okay. And here, our print web server stopped due Wi-Fi disconnect. Okay. So we should see these messages if we have the current verbosa level and so on and on. Uh, all right. So actually, we should be able now to see if we are connected 
to to Wi-Fi or not, or if we have started. Huh? So actually, what we need, we have to check here. Yeah, if bit read status byte, and we have h stat HTTP started. So this means our web server is up and running. Hmm. Then we need to know if we have already a client connected or not. So I will add another status here. HTTP client. This is four. So if we have an HTTP client connected, we have to answer this client. We have to handle the client. Uh, we will do this afterwards. Else, we are waiting for a client connection. Okay? Here we're waiting. Yeah? Waiting for a client, which is addressing our our server. All right. So I will say uh, HTTP client. This is the variable I've done before, and it's HTTP server uh, dot uh, available. If something's available, it will hand over the client. Yeah. So if we have an HTTP client, then we set the bit in the status byte HTTP client. The client is connected. Okay, and we will say if verb HTML. Dot info uh, verbose communication sil dot print line HTTP client connected. Good. HTTP client is connected. We'll print this out. Okay. And of course, I need a timeout. If the client is just connecting and not sending any request or something like this, we need to get out. Uh, so I will introduce a new timeout. Uh, HTTP timeout. Let's call it client timeout. Let's say two seconds should be, should be sufficient. Uh, and I will set this. HTTP client is connected. I will set HTTP client timeout uh, dot set now. Now, from now, two seconds. Do yeah. <sighs> I need some variables to store the client request and so on? I will also use this as global variant. So there is a string uh, client request. Somehow, I need to know what is the client request. And there's a string, actual line. What this is, I will explain. I will explain, okay? So I, we need those two. This can, we can close. Setter we can close. All right. This will also close. So actually, what we are doing, we say the client we had the client is requested, but the request is not yet here. Yeah. Client request equals nothing, we don't know, and actual line is also nothing. Good, that's it. Huh? We next loop we will be here. Yeah, we will be somewhere else. Okay? And we will say uh, if HTTP client dot connected. Okay, if the HTTP client is connected and we not have this HTTP client timeout dot timed out. 
So the timeout has not yet occurred. Ah, uh, what if we are not? We say else. So if the client is no longer connected due to whatever reason, or we have a timeout. Ah, uh, let's see. If it's not connected, then it's fine. But if what if we ran into a timeout? Then we have to gracefully close the connection. Uh, uh, we say then HTTP client dot stop. This means we have timed out. And we will say HTTP client timeout. And of course we have to reset this HTTP client. We are no longer connected. Bit clear. We have no longer an HTTP client connected. Here, if we are here, it means we have a connection and it might have sent something. So if HTTP client dot available, this actually means something, we get something, we get something here yeah? and we can read this something. We need a character HTTP client. Uh, dot read. Yeah, I could I think I could even write while HTTP client available. Character HTTP client read uh, uh, and I will also write this one verb HTML but this time it's debug I would say debug level because I immediately print what I'm reading. Zero dot write this character. And the client request, will, I will add this character to the client request. Okay. And if the character equals a new line, then I will print out the actual line. Okay. Actual line will be printed, so whatever there is, yeah, and actual line, actual, ah, actual, write it correct, write it correct. I will print out the actual line, what we have received, so I'm, this enter marks the end of the line, new line, huh? this is why it's called that way. And uh, then I say actual line equals nothing. Uh, so this is the request line by line. And it's the case if we have two enters in a row, so two new lines in a row, then the request is over. All right. So here in between, if actual line dot length, the length of actual line equals zero due to new lines in a row request end. Then the client has already finished the request. This indicates two enters, two new lines in a row indicating we are a uh, we are finished. And here, if the character is not a new line, I will, uh, if the character is not a carriage return, I will add this also to actual line. I will ignore the, I will ignore the, the carriage returns. Okay. So actual line is filling up until the end. Then if the, if the pose, ooh, this is wrong here. If the pose level is, has reached a certain level, I will print the actual line even out on the serial monitor. And if the actual line is zero, yeah, then it means I have a second new line and this is the end of the request. Yeah. And here 
I have to answer. I have to answer the request and I have to print I will copy this now. This is the answer to an HTTP request. Request is okay, 200 means okay. Yeah? Content type is now text.html and connection will be closed. And you see one new line, second new line. Yeah? This is indicating my response, yeah? the end of my response. And now I can print my web page. Right? This I have to do in HTML and I also will copy this. So we have here body. Uh, no, I'll not do this. I will have a, a header. HTTP client dot printl l web page header and HTML always looks like this. You open you open something with with name and then you you end the same thing with slash and the name. And this is the, the, the header yeah, is what is in the, in the top line of your tab. Yeah? And then there is the body. This is the, this is the content. Yeah? And I will print hello there, actual mill is something. Yeah? And then body end, HTML end. This is our, our HTML web page, the web page. This we should see if we open our web browser. This is the, this is the response to the request, everything is alright, and this is the content. Right. And then I will clear, then I will stop the client, and then I will clear the client information so that we are finished. And actually, this should already do the trick. Yeah? There is nothing more, I mean, it's already looking very pretty complicated. I'm going to upload this now. I'm going to start a web browser. Yes, we are uploading. Yeah. Web server started. It should be client time dot. Okay, this does not look good. Uh, okay, so let's let's see. Ooh, I don't know the IP address. I have to enter the address, right? So I have to enter the address. How do I enter the address? Luckily, I have implemented Wi-Fi IP. One hundred. 92, 168, 1.6. This is the IP address. And I enter this in, in my, in my web browser. What was it? 3, 6. And actually, El Hans's web page. Hello there, actual millis. <laughs> Refresh. Our actual millis are changing. Okay, we really managed, we really managed to display, to display a web page. Okay, so we have now this web page available. We have now this web page available and we could control something. Yeah, so I want to control the set point. Yeah? I want to control the, the actual set point of, of my, bri the brightness set point. Of my my brightness controller, this I want to do. Yeah. So I need to to learn HTML. Well, a little bit HTML, I know, uh, but yeah, for this for this uh, for this thing, it should be sufficient. It should be sufficient. Uh, there's already the first mistake because it's not header, it's head. Yeah. <laughs> so upload. This is why we do see we do see here this El Hanzo's web page here, not here. Yeah. So we'll upload it once again. Yeah. 
and let's see if the title of the web page is now El Heinzo's web page. Now I've I've used this this uh, tag correct. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is that I am uh, designing a web page where we can have I don't know a slider or something like this or enter a number for the set point of the brightness. That's it. That's it. Okay, we are up and running. Do we get even outputs if HTTP client is, is connected and so on? Let's see. El Hansel's web page. Uh -huh. Aha, yeah, yeah. HTTP client connected. Boop, 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 boop. Uh huh. Yeah, of course, we do have always two lines because I guess uh, get verbose two. We have debug and info on. Yeah, we will stop debug on two, and we will request the client. We will request this again. Yeah. Now we only get the line output. HTTP client connected. Pop, 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 pop. Good. Good. Ah, it's still not there. All right. This is why. Tags, tags, HTML tags. One after the other. You can have it shown. Yeah. This is the web page we are, we are printing out. Yeah. And if you refresh now, ah, okay, looking like this, doctor HTML, HTML, this is exactly what we printed out, El Hansel's web page, and How to get away from this? Ah, now it's written there. El Heinz's web page. <laughs> right. ah. Okay, I will play around. Play around, and then hopefully we can manage to, to put a new set point there. For this done, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.